Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about how to create a new product form. This is basically having uh, details on all the latest products, the category list and varieties, the dates that we want. We can have an option to add a new product, the categories and all the uh, all the subcategories in the particular form. So basically, uh, we have the list of all the product characteristics, namely category, name and price. So then we have values which we can add for whichever category that we are going for. So apart from that, we have a slicer over here and uh, depending on the slicer, the values in the graph will change for the particular category that we're going for. So basically to add new form, we click on a button which actually takes us to something called a new product form. Now this is used via user form. Uh, basically, uh, basically a user form is used whenever there is a need for collecting data from a user. They are probably best suited for controlling the data that we want to collect from the user. We can do this by inserting code into the private module of the user form that validates what the user can enter. Not only do they allow us to control what the user can enter, but we can then transfer this information onto a spreadsheet in a manner that ensures that data is entered in the correct place, format and manner. When the user form is used correctly, we can make it virtually impossible for erroneous data to be entered, while at the same time making the inputting for the user very easy. Now, when do we use a user form? There is not really a definitive answer to this question as the use of user form allows such flexibility that they can be used in a wide range of situations. They can be for simply creating your own message box through to replacing the entire interface of Excel. You will no doubt find that you will use a user form in Excel more and more as you become more comfortable with them. The only restriction will probably be your own imagination and knowledge of the controls that can be used on them. Now let me talk about how to create a user form. Let's take a new sheet over here. So go to the developers tab. Under that you'll see Visual Basic. Click on it. And uh, basically you can create a new user form by, uh, by going to insert user form. You get this thing. And now if the toolbox is not here, you can click view toolbox. Now basically toolbox has various options that we can manipulate with. First let's enter a command button. So this is basically the first command button and along with it, alongside it, let's enter a text box. Now you can rename the command button. As you see, there's a properties tab on the left side corner. So you can rename it over here by clicking the caption and selecting it then delete it and type it. Maybe I'll type it name. The text box as well can be changed. Its name is text box that's written over here. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna write text underscore name. Similarly, let's go for the next command button. Let it be say price. So I go to the caption once again and I type price. As shown earlier, we'll develop a text box over here and I'm gonna na name it. text underscore price you also have an option to change the name of the user form as you can see over here if you click on the user form a name tab will come and you can change it over here user form as form underscore product now you can change the name tab over here as well but that should be simultaneous it has to be like product form it can't be basically product comma form so it has to be product form now that i've changed everything now that i've created the button and the text boxes we can double click it to get the command enter the particular commands that are needed and close it and save it and once you save it the user form is done and ready when you move to the new product worksheet you can see something called add new product over here so this is basically a user form that contains date product name product category and price so if i click on a, if i write a particular date say 14 10 2015 with the product name as sh 
coming under the product category shampoo with a price of 425 and if I add details to it the product and its particular details will get added into the database directly so as you can see over here it comes as name sh category shampoo price 425 so this is in the database currently so this is how you use a use a form and manipulate it to create a new product form thank you for listening have a nice day